if this wasn't so terrifying, it would be hilarious. And it's kind of both. But the reality of the situation is, is this man is not well. He is not well at all. And the only people that are actually supporting him are low IQ people that do not do any research whatsoever. They simply just respond to tweets and headlines. They don't do any research. The moment that tweet goes out or that headline goes out that calls Trump orange man bad or he's racist or he's sexist, they just go with it. They don't do any research. They don't care about the context. They just run with it because they're mindless zombies. And this is another situation. The fact that anybody can be okay with this man being in the position he's in while being completely unfit for the job. But make what makes this worse is that the White House press secretary, her response just shows how little faith they have in the people that they need to support them because they know they're not going to do any research. They have no respect for the people that vote Democrat because they know that they don't do any research and they know they're going to walk into whatever Twitter or social media narrative that is put out there for them. Holy shit. But first, let's listen to Joe Biden, who apparently sees dead people. But then let's listen to the unbelievable response from the White House. And so many of you know so much about this as well, and you're committed. And I want to thank all of you here for including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this. This is unbelievable. There is literally, literally no defense of this in any capacity whatsoever. But wait, it gets worse. Listen to this. When you... When you are dealing with literally the lowest IQ voter on the planet, these are the types of responses you can give. And when you have a media that's not holding you accountable for anything you're doing, remember Kaylee McEnany? Kaylee McEnany faced more attacks than anybody we've ever seen as a White House press secretary. She was also the best, but because she was connected to Trump, she faced more attacks than anybody we've seen. But then we're, we're just going to let this just go. This is going to, this is just going to sweep, sweep under the rug. Final one. What happened in the hunger event today? The president appeared to look around the room uh, for an audience member, a member of Congress who passed away last month. He seemed to indicate she might be in the room. What, so, what happened there? so the president w was, uh, as you all know, you guys were watching uh, today's event, a very important event on uh, food insecurity. The president was naming uh, the congressional champions on this issue and was acknowledging her incredible work. He had, uh, he had already uh, planned to welcome the Congresswoman's family uh, to the White House on Friday. There will be a, a bill signing in her honor this coming Friday. Uh, so, of course, she was on his mind. She was of top of mind uh, for the president. He uh, looks very much looks forward to discussing her remarkable legacy of public service with them when he sees her family this coming Friday. When you are dealing with people that only respond to Twitter headlines and you know, clickbait left-wing headlines. These are the same people that fell for my Cobra Kai is Woke season five. Even though that's not what I said, I just put it in the headline just to prove that all of these left-wing lunatics out there just respond to headlines. They just screenshot our thumbnails, screenshot our titles, and they build a narrative out of it without doing any research whatsoever. That's the type of people that are supporting Joe Biden, and that's the type of people that will think that this is completely acceptable. Holy fuck. Now, again, she was just on his mind. She was on his mind. No, he literally asked for her. Where is she? On. Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. Now, again, let's listen further on. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? She must not be here. No, I totally understand. I just, I just explained she was on top of mind. Uh, um, you know, this was an, what we were able to witness today and what the president was able to lift up uh, in this, uh, at this conference, at this event, uh, was how her uh, her focus on um, wanting to listen to uh, her just try and justify it. And again, it's because they don't have to be held accountable for anything. They can spin whatever nonsensical narrative they want, and they know that these weirdos are just going to eat it up. 
We have a serious, serious mental health problem. That is clear. We have a problem of TDS. And again, it's time for people to stop being silent and speak up with your support for Donald J. Trump, for Governor Ron DeSantis, uh, for Carrie Lake, for the people out there that are standing up for freedom and standing against this nonsense. This is insanity to the highest level. And as I've said many times, just when you think we have reached the peak of insanity, it gets even worse. And this seems like this is the peak, but trust me, it'll get worse. You guys have a great day. Also, shout out to everybody in Florida that is being impacted by Hurricane Ian right now. I'm obviously in Florida, but I'm in the Panhandle. I'm in Pensacola, so I'm not really being impacted by this, but it is a Category 4, making landfall as we speak. I've been through my share of hurricanes. The storm surge, the the, the tornadoes uh, can be horrendously dangerous, so everybody just needs to be uh, looking out for uh, one another down there in Central Florida. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Trump 2020 24, and we will talk to you later.